Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're staring at the back end of a Yashio Factory S15, staring at a VDC course. And no, it is not Adam LZ's Yashio Factory S15. It is a modified version of Adam LZ's Yashio Factory S15 from DMZS Drippy. So we are going to go be taking a look at his car for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So like I said, we are taking a look here at the Yashio Factory S15 of DMDS Drippy. Big thank you to him for letting me get my hands on this beautiful model. It does say LZ, uh, Drip LZ on the side. So it is identical body to Adam LZ's S15 Pro car, but with a little bit of a change for his personal ESDA car. So once again it's a very beautiful model big thank you to him for letting me get my hands on this car give it a rip here for today's driver spotlight so we're going to be setting it here on a vdc syrups course stirrup syrup thinking of pancakes right now and we're going to see how this thing handles on the rip so uh let's just go full send all right so we're going to go full send with it oh this thing's loud we're going to heat the tires up before we actually head out onto the track there's the wall tap there the car is definitely a very beautiful model and it's definitely a very nasty sounding s15 right now so we are on a basic tune i did not modify anything when we drive it how it sits maybe make some tweaks here but this is definitely a nasty car so we're gonna go full send here not sure what gear we're gonna have to be in but we're gonna see what it is looks like it's fifth quick flick initiation did not bring it out as wide as we should have there Inner clip, little clutch kick there, little bobble, probably going to the fourth. Definitely need to get closer out to that wall. This track is definitely a fun track. Car transitions very well. So I think we just need to stay in fifth gear or maybe go sixth to fifth. Don't hit the wall. We almost hit the wall. So first run out, not bad. The car is very controllable it uh, has some snap to it but it's very controllable when transitioning and in angle definitely need to stretch it out a little more and see if we can't get a little more speed and try and get to those zones here for sure of course you guys know we're gonna end this at Irwindale that's where we end all these driver spotlights off there we go that's a little bit closer to that zone hard flick angle a little bit of a clutch kick, a little later transition there. Not as close to the wall as I want to be, but fifth gear is definitely the gear to stay in. Oh, we went full send, just a little wall tap. Sorry, Jervy. Didn't mean to uh, smack the Yashio factory bumper in the wall, but we survived. So we're not doing too, too bad right now. I think we should probably uh, tweak a little bit. See if we can't maybe get. A little bit of a different setup. I feel like the gear is okay. Fifth gear 138. We're gonna ski. Eh, we're gonna bump the tires down a smidge. And I want to make sure 100% boost. Diff power coast. We're gonna bump the coast down a smidge. And we're gonna up that and drop that a little bit. 8080 is usually my go-to for my control for my brakes so that's what we're gonna do and now we're gonna go send on this see if those changes make a bit of a difference the tire grip does not seem to affect it Whoa. we almost smacked a bumper into the wall once again a big thank you to DMS DMDS Drippy for uh, letting me get my hands on the Hiyashio factory car. It's definitely an amazing car. Oh, that's much better. Oh, we oversent it. We managed to hold it though. That was a much nicer initiation and first part on that. That's where I want to be on that wall. 
So I think those few little changes actually helped out very well. So we're going to go for another full send run on this. I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this car. And, uh, you know, we're going to Irwindale. But we're going to load into Irwindale probably with this setup and see how it works on Irwindale. We'll probably be in sixth gear at Irwindale. I'm not sure if fifth gear would work on the bank, but we're going to find out. Fifth gear. Click in. Up to zone, angle it up to uh, get that inner clip. deep into that wall and we looped it so unfortunately we did loop that so let's head over to Irwindale and see what we can do with Irwindale and see what this car can do on the bank so we are gonna load in our last tune that we were running on this car and see if that is going to uh, work here not entirely sure how the gearing is gonna work on the bank but we can find out here real quick We might actually be good in fifth gear. So we're going to see if fifth gear is going to be the gear we run it in. So let's uh, full send here at Irwindale in this Yashio Factory 15. Should have stayed in throttle. Got a little twitchy on the bank. Should have stayed in throttle. I do love how that sounds. That little... Uh, exhaust crackle when you get off throttle and not a bad handling car by any means you know getting a chance to drive all these different cars for me is incredibly fun to see everybody's different styles and everybody's different how they like their cars to handle like wheel wise and physics wise and things of that nature it's definitely a a fun thing to do and big thank you to everybody that's given me the chance to drive their cars we're going to try and get this one up on the bank. We're going to try to do this without a handbrake on initiation. Stay in power this time. Very, oh, a little bit twitch and over angle there. That would have been definitely unchaseable. I think we do need to change the gearing a smidge. I think we are just kind of coming out of boost. I guess you would say so let's try and get a little more speed on the bank in fifth don't really want to go all the way up in the sixth so we're gonna try to lower the gear ratio a little bit so we get a little more speed out of fifth gear yeah I think that's that's gonna work out in our favor so we're going to try and do the no handbrake initiation again. This is a clutch kick. Way lower on the bank than I wanted to. But the gear ratio is definitely where we need to be. Jeez, flicking that right on the wall. Probably dragging bumper. We try that one more time to end this episode off. If you guys want to keep seeing these driver spotlights, make sure you guys follow me on social media, all the found in the below. If you guys have a car, make sure you guys message me on Discord if you guys want your car featured in a driver spotlight episode. So, overall impressions of this car. Love the way the car handles. Love the way it looks. Love what he did to the car. The livery is on point. So let's go. Try and get up much higher in the bank. Ooh, way shallow. So I do also have Adam LZ's Pro 1 Yashio Factory S15 in my car list. So if you guys want to see a video and an episode on Adam LZ's Pro Car, let me know down in the comment section down below. Because I do have his actual Yashio Factory car in the game. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.